right now. We know those coconut rhinoceros beetles are disgusting, right? We've shown them to you on this show, but the general public needs to know just how destructive they can be. And that's what's going to be discussed at a public meeting tonight. Council member Tyler Dos Santos Tam and State Representative May Mizuno join us now. And obviously this goes beyond the ick factor, although that ick factor is there. So what potential impact could these pests have, Tyler? Well, you know, we're seeing already out on the North Shore, the west side of Oahu, you know, our, our palm trees, and, and we all go to the beach. We all, you know, love our palm trees. We love our native species, but these beetles are, are taking over, and, and we got to stop them, and that's why we're having this meeting. Yeah, and then, of course, that impacts the economy as a whole. It's, yeah. it's incredibly destructive. So we've seen them before, but when you see them in person, it's really different. So they're very distinctive. What do they look like? Yeah, so they're actually really big. I mean, you know, we see the B-52 cockroaches yes. here, <laughs> but um, these guys are about two to three inches long, so that's a good, you know, that's about the size of your palm. They have a really distinctive horn on the front, and they're covered in kind of an armor. I mean, again, the B-52 roaches, we, we throw a slipper at them, they'll squish them. <laughs> but these guys are, are tough, so you really got to get in there and, and squish them. Freeze them is actually something that's being recommended if you can catch them. Oh. And that oh. kills them. Right. And which makes it a little more disgusting because there, yeah. there is a, then, there's an yeah. audible crunch yeah. when you go through them. <laughs> How about this? Uh, what are some of the pre preventative efforts that we can take? Um, it's important to bring awareness to our communities, especially in our district. We have a lot of um, janitors. So that's why we're having this meeting this evening at 6 o'clock p.m. at Kapalama Elementary School. And I believe we are serving a little poopoos as well. So hopefully our community will come down and join us for this meeting. Yeah, Very important. Is there anything else you want the general public to know? I mean, as far as what I can do if I see something in my backyard or anything like that? You know, I think, again, as May mentioned, it's about educating the public. We've got a lot of, you know, the yard, yard people, the landscape contractors in Kalihi. But for the general public, you know, the, to know the signs of an infestation, to be able to report it, um, there's a great website at 643pest.org, and that's also the hotline number. And, you know, it's, it's a matter of making sure that this doesn't spread further, especially, you know, in town where we've got people's yards right next to each other, a lot of people doing gardening and that kind of thing. We just don't want it to spread further. Yeah, and they are popping up in some random spots. So just even more so, attend the meeting if you can. Meeting is tonight at Kapalama Elementary School. It's at 6 o'clock. All the information is going to be on our website, hawaiinewsnow.com. Thank you guys for joining us. Yeah, thank Appreciate you. you. All right, thank you. And we'll be right back. You're watching Sunrise on Hawaii News Now.